Hey YouTube, this is another episode of American English File, second edition, book two, workbook, part 7C, learn a language in a month. The first exercise, grammar. Everybody, look at the pictures, complete the sentences with the correct form of have to. Okay, this is the first exercise, so let's do it together. Do teachers in your country have to look stylish? Not very stylish. They don't have to wear formal clothes, but they have to look neat. All right, number two. Do American taxi drivers have to work long hours? Someone told me that. Yes, we have to work 12 hours a day, but we don't have to work every day okay number three do i have to cook meals no you don't have to do the cooking but you have to help the children to eat number four does your husband have to travel abroad for his job no he doesn't have to travel abroad but he has to speak foreign languages well done good for a start now i helped you with the previous exercise but the rest of the exercises are for you. Exercise B. What do these signs mean? Write sentences with must or can't. For example, number one. You must pay in cash, no credit card. And exercise C. Complete the sentences with must not or don't have to. For example, number one. The museum is free. You don't have to pay. As always, stop the video and do it. Very good. Check your answers with your friends. Okay, let's do it together. Number two, you must turn left here. Okay, number three, you can't make a noise. Number four, you can't use your cell phone. Number five, you must stop here. Number six, you can't play soccer here. Okay, exercise C, number two. You have to wear formal clothes. You must not wear jeans. Number three, the speed limit is 55 miles per hour. You must not drive faster. Number four, your hours will be 9 to 5 Monday to Friday. You don't have to work on weekends. Number five. That river is dangerous. You must not swim in it. And the last one, it's a very small house. You don't have to clean it every day. Well done, everyone. So far, so good. Now, part two, vocabulary, modifiers, a little, really, etc. We covered these in the book. Now it's time to show me your skill. All right. Order the words to make sentences. For example, number one, look, online translation sites aren't very useful. Okay, let's do the rest together. Number two, what is it? Mm -hmm. It's fairly difficult to understand American movies. Number three, our new teacher speaks very fast. Number four, some of those students are a little unfriendly. Number five, Reading English books is a really good idea. Number six, it's extremely hard to learn Chinese. Well done, everyone. Part three, pronunciation. Sentence stress. Everybody, listen and repeat. File 7C, pronunciation. One, you must not take photos here. Two, they have to take the train to work. Three, you can't walk on the grass. Four, we don't have to go to school today. Five, you must take one pill every day. Brilliant. 
all the way to part four reading everybody look at this question what's the best way to learn a language read the opinions about learning languages what do you think are the three best ideas the best ideas okay now first i want you to complete the sentences with the people's name take your time and do it this is on you a few moments later okay you're back now first let's read it together gloria from brazil my favorite way to learn a language is to go to a language school and take a class there are classes for many levels of english whether you're beginning or you've been learning for a long time it's great when you have other students in the class and you can learn and practice together and of course having a teacher to help you is really important it's good to do your homework too jiho south korea i think it's really hard to learn a language if you don't have anyone to talk to I've joined a social networking site where I can chat in English to a lot of other people like me. I'm more interested in using English to communicate than anything else, so I don't mind if my grammar isn't perfect. Paulo, Portugal. I don't have time to go to an English class, but there's a great site on the internet that has classes in the form of podcasts. Every week, I download a few of these onto my phone so that I can listen to the class when I'm going to and from work. I find the words and phrases that I have to listen to and repeat extremely useful. Suzanne from Turkey or Turkey. I'm a big fan of American pop music, so I spend a lot of time listening to different songs at home on my iPad. I've downloaded a new app that puts the lyrics on the screen and translates the song for, the, for you at the same time. I really enjoy learning English like this, and it's very good for my pronunciation too. Kiko from Japan. I can't afford to pay for one-on-one -on -one English classes, but I've found a great class online. I have to watch a short video and then learn the grammar and vocabulary in it. If I have any questions, I can contact my online tutor, who's very friendly. I'm really enjoying the class and I've learned a lot from it. And the last one, Luis from Spain. I love books and in my opinion, you can learn a lot of new words by reading in English. I look up difficult words with my dictionary or do a quick search online. Also, I can read a book whenever I want. I don't have to go to classes or pay a lot of money for private tutors. Books are great. I can learn English and about other subjects too. Okay, so number one is already done. Suzanne thinks that listening to songs helps her pronunciation. Number two, Louise says that reading can improve your vocabulary. Number three, Kiko has contact with an online teacher or tutor. Number four, Jiho thinks that speaking is more important than grammar. And number five, Gloria likes meeting and practicing with other students. And the last one, Paulo practices English mostly by listening. Well done, everyone. It was perfect. And all the way to the last exercise. You can see my headphones, right? It means it's time to listen everyone listen to a radio program about the cherokee language on what gadget can the cherokee people use their language today okay listen and answer this question okay file 7c listening and here's some good news for one of the world's endangered languages there are about 6,000 languages in the world today, and experts say that nearly half of them are dying out. That means that around 3,000 languages will disappear in the next century or so. One language in danger of dying out is the Cherokee language, spoken by the Cherokee people of North America. 
or at least it was in danger until the leaders of the tribe decided to do something about it. They got worried when they realized that only 8,000 of the 290,000 Cherokee people in the world today actually spoke the language, and they came up with a plan. They got in touch with the electronics company Apple and asked them to include Cherokee on the official list of languages used on their products. At first, it seemed impossible that Apple would take any notice of the Cherokee because their products already had 50 languages on them. The big surprise came in September 2006, when the Apple iOS 4.1 operating system was released with Cherokee on the official list of languages. Since then, the Cherokee people have been able to use their language on all Mac computers, iPhones, the iPod Touch, and the iPad. These devices were popular with the younger members of the tribe from the start, but now the older members are taking an interest too, especially those who use cell phones. So it looks as if the Cherokee language won't die out just yet after all. And if the language stays alive, the culture will stay alive too, something that the leaders of the tribe will be very happy about. Okay, so what is the answer? On what gadgets can the Cherokee people use their language today? On all Mac computers, iPhones, an iPod Touch, and the iPad. Okay. Now I need you to listen again and answer the questions. For example, how many languages exist in the world today? About 6,000. So, listen and answer the questions. File 7C. Listening. And here's some good news for one of the world's endangered languages. There are about 6,000 languages in the world today, and experts say that nearly half of them are dying out. That means that around 3,000 languages will disappear in the next century or so. One language in danger of dying out is the Cherokee language, spoken by the Cherokee people of North America. Or at least it was in danger until the leaders of the tribe decided to do something about it. They got worried when they realized that only 8,000 of the 290,000 Cherokee people in the world today actually spoke the language, and they came up with a plan. They got in touch with the electronics company Apple and asked them to include Cherokee on the official list of languages used on their products. At first, it seemed impossible that Apple would take any notice of the Cherokee because their products already had 50 languages on them. The big surprise came in September 2006, when the Apple iOS 4.1 operating system was released with Cherokee on the official list of languages. Since then, the Cherokee people have been able to use their language on all Mac computers, iPhones, the iPod Touch, and the iPad. These devices were popular with the younger members of the tribe from the start, but now the older members are taking an interest too, especially those who use cell phones. So it looks as if the Cherokee language won't die out just yet after all. And if the language stays alive, the culture will stay alive too, something that the leaders of the tribe will be very happy about. Okay, check your answers with your friends. Mm -hmm. Let's answer the questions. By 2100, how many will disappear? Okay, about around 3000. Okay, number three. How many members of the Cherokee tribe could speak Cherokee when the plan started? 8,000. How many Cherokees were there? 290,000. And the last one, when did Apple release iOS 4.1 with Cherokee as an official language? 
2006. Okay. Now, these are some words for you. Experiment. Experiment. Fees. Fees. Voicemail. Voicemail. Permitted. Permitted. Obligatory. Obligatory. Complete beginner. Complete beginner. Entrance fee. Entrance fee. Intensive course. Intensive course. Against the rules. Against the rules. And that's the practice for today. Everybody, if you have a question, you can comment down below or contact me directly. And make sure to like and subscribe if you find my work useful. See you soon, my friend.